Welcome to a tutorial on user logins and sessions. Now this tutorial is going to cover a few um, aspects of PHP. It's going to cover an HTML form that will be submitted, checked um, whether for presence of username and password. It's going to process this against a database. I'm going to show you how to set your database up with your username and password, how to connect to your database, and also it's going to process a logout function. Um, obviously we are using sessions so your user will remain logged in until they press the logout button. Okay so to start with I'm going to create my HTML form and then I'll take you through some of the um, MySQL things that we are going to set up. Okay so our HTML form we're going to have the action going to a page called login.php um, we're keeping separate pages to keep it simple and our method is going to be post and let's end our form and start creating our input Ooh, input type that's going to be a text and the name of this is going to be username um, okay and we'll break that and we'll say um, in fact we can take this and all we need to change here is this we're going to create this as a password and this is going to be called password the reason we do this is because this will be starred out um, or circled out depending on which operating system you're using and finally we are creating a submit button and the value of that is going to be log in okay so at the moment what we have is we have let's refresh we have a page here um, index.php with a username a password and a login button which currently goes to a page that doesn't exist now let's make it a bit more user friendly let's type out labels in here and we have got it. Okay, so um, now what we're going to do is we're going to create our login.php page. In fact, no, what we'll do first is I want you to open up PHP My Admin. If you're using um, XAMP, it will be installed by default under localhost forward slash PHP My Admin. If you haven't installed it, I suggest you Google for it and install it. Copy it over to your localhost, um, your web directory, and you can start using it from there. So we run this. Okay, now basically what we're going to do is we're going to create a new bit, new database. So here, create new database. Um, we're going to call this, uh, let's say, uh, PHP, no, let's call it PHP login. Okay, and we click create. Okay, right, we can see it's come up here, and we're going to start creating tables. Now, um, if you're not too familiar with SQL, um, we've got a basic structure is a database um, stores tables and tables store different rows and the rows store your values so we're going to have the name of this as users we're gonna say okay ah okay number of fields now what I like to do is when I create a new database I open up a notepad and or a context document and I note down every field that I'm going to use so we're going to use ID for a start we're going to use a username and a password and there's nothing much else we want at the moment um, you can obviously add a username um, or sorry a first name a date of birth depending on your program but for now we're using these three so that is a total of three fields uh, let's go back onto here that's three fields and that will create that for us now we're faced with typing in the field names we're gonna have ID we're gonna make this an integer and what we want is this is the primary key and we want it as an auto increment now what this will do is every time a new record is created the ID value will increment by one so for example the first user that registers will have an ID of one the second user that registers will have an ID of two and so on and so forth okay our next one is going to be username and our last one is going to be password now these can be set as varchars I'm going to set that as 25 characters and the password is 25 characters as well just to be simple uh, now there's nothing much else you need to set for these so if we go down got quite a small screen here uh, let's say save okay so that's, once that's saved out you can come down and see this here um, you can um, insert um, values in which we're going to do because we're testing um, I will be doing some tutorials or we'll already have some tutorials up on how to um, 
make a, a user registration form. So this would um, remove the need for this at the moment. Okay, so the value of our ID we don't need to put in as it's auto increment, that will go to one straight away. Our username, I'm going to say Alex, and my password is going to be ABC. Okay, I wouldn't recommend you ever use that password, but there you go. Um, okay, so um, my username, Alex, password ABC. I shouldn't have trouble remembering that. You click go, and that's already been stored. To browse, you can just click the browse tab. Let's go down, and we've got username and password as Alex ABC. And like I said, ID has been set to one already. Okay, so um, what we need to do now is we're going to create our um, our login.php page. Let's save this out quickly as login.php. Okay, so we're working with this now. Obviously, we create our PHP tags, and we need to take into account some post variables as in the index we use the method as post so what we'll be doing is we'll be setting our username as dollar sign underscore post and the name of the variable which is username which is found here and our password is going to equal a post value and that will be password okay so First of all, what we need to do is check that they've entered both the username and the password because we're not going to start validating the form. It's completely unnecessary unless we know that the user has typed both of these fields in. So what I'm going to say is I'm going to create my if statement and this is going to be quite big. All the code that I'm going to require after this has been checked is going to go in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say if username, remember username on its own is a valid true um, condition. It will this will equal this will be equal to true. And we're going to say and password. So require the username and the password for this to be true and to execute this block of code here. So what we're going to write in here. Now we need to connect to our uh, database. So to do this, what we basically need to write is um, what we need to do is say uh, create a variable called connect and that's going to be equal to MySQL connect. And inside this, we're going to have our first first um, parameter is going to be our host that is local host for me the second is going to be the username i'm using root and the password i believe for me may be nothing but i'll check that in a minute um, after this we can say or die and then what we can do is give an error message so for example couldn't connect so if this um, in fact isn't my password i think it might be something else but i'll give it a go in a minute then we're going to say couldn't connect Okay, now we need to select our uh, table, uh, sorry, our database. I'm going to say MySQL select DB. That's a, another built in function. Um, as long as you have the PHP module installed, this does come with XAMP, so if you're using XAMP, you shouldn't have a problem. And for this, I'm going to say, uh, I think we've called it, let's have a look, PHP login. So, PHP login. So, assuming this is all okay, um, I can add an error message here as well couldn't find db okay so let's uh, refresh our page um, first of all yeah we're logging we'll click login now nothing's happened um, let's just edit our if statement I'm going to say else echo or rather the best function is die on its own this will just um, stop executing anything after this point after this function is called and it will also pass a parameter uh, of a message of your choice so here I'm going to say please enter a user name and a password okay so here to refresh this we'll resend the data and we've got this error message so I'm going to type Alex and 123 or ABC so let's log in Okay, nothing's happened. We've got no error messages. That means I've obviously connected OK to my database. And I'm going to stop this tutorial here because I've run over a bit of time. And in the next one, I'm going to find you're going to find out how to connect to your database, and we're going to check the username and password. Thanks for watching.